Good morning, one and all. Yesterday or the previous session, we will already saw the concept of database system architecture and data models. In that, we already taught the concepts, purpose of the database system, why we are going to use database system, what is the use of that, what are the applications of database system, as well as we cleared the concept of what is the purpose. That means, what are the drawbacks of file system related with the database system. So, we covered the purpose of database system concepts. After that, we cleared the concepts regarding data abstraction. So, in that, we saw the third or three levels, physical level, logical level and view level. So, in that, we covered the concept. Physical level means how the record is stored. Logical level means what data is stored in the database with what are the relationship among that data. And last one is the user level means the view level. In that, we describe only a part of complete database or the entire database. So, this is the diagram we already saw. So, today I am going to explain a simplified database system and what it means how simply a database system concept we are going to use in our real time examples. See here database system. So, these are the users and the programmers. So, these are connected with some of the application programs and queries. So, user is giving a query to the DBMS software. So, what is DBMS software is going to do? It will process that queries with the help of one of the software which is related to a DBMS. It runs that program and that software is going to access the stored data from the database. So, it is the stored database along with the metadata. Metadata means what? The data of data. The data which showing the information about the data. It is called as the metadata. You people understand what I am going to say? It is the simplified database system environment. So, it is all called as the database system. So, we are here. We are the users. So, database system is what going to show? Users is going to play the application program as well as it gives a one query to the DBMS software. So, DBMS software what it will do? It will process that query or program and it is going to access your results from the stored data. So, all these concepts or all this environment is of database system okay so these are the some database management system examples we already told what is the data data means information what is the database management system database management system means what interrelated data it is the collection of interrelated data along with the program who who is going to access that particular data so we can tell that student is one of the database system. So, in your class also, 80 students are there, suppose. So, your whole class information is stored in some system, okay. So, all information of 80 students we are going to collect in a one file, in a one format, in a one application, on in a one system, on a one machine. So, all that collective information, that collective or interrelated data we are going to store in a student database. And when we are going to access that particular data, then it becomes a particular database management system. Understand? So, some of the examples are shown here. Student, it contains the information related student name, student number, student class and the major. That is the department you can take. So, another one information is the course. 
so this database we are going to consider as the whole college okay so in our college also five to six departments are there so course name course number credit hours and the department in which department it is belongs that subject is or that course is belong okay then another database system example is the section we can take as per your requirement so we can create the tables we can create the database according to our requirement so section in that we are given here section identifier course number semester year and the instructor these attributes we are taking here for the section database then last one is the grade report so when you are going to a given giving a exam after that result will come so for that result also we are considering some database in that grade report we are going to consider student results so grade report database contains student number section identifiers and what are the grades students got okay so this is your result database okay it may be contains 80 student results some classes having a 70 students so it will contains a result of 70 students so these are the database management system examples okay we are shown here the four database student course section and grade okay when we want okay see here query means want this is one database and i want the results of students who are having the grade p okay this is my query so our database system software gives us the student sorry the grade b here student number 17 as well as the number 8 okay who is having 102 marks who is having 112 marks okay that time I am getting a results having only the two students because I want the grade from only the students having grade B. Then the query will execute our database management system executes our software executes that query and it will give the results to us. What is the result it is giving? The student record of these two students who is having a 102 marks and who is having the 112 marks okay understand what are the examples along with the query how the database management system works with that result so it can consider here the database system is the collection of interrelated data and the program to access that data okay see here the next point is what instances and schemas see here you all know the programming language okay in that the main points you know you are going to consider some header files again you are consider your main program in that definitely you are putting the variables and types okay in a programming language so the schema and instances also the same like you are considering the types and variables in a programming language. Okay. We will see here what is the schema. Schema means the logical structure of the database. In a simple form you can tell that it is the design of the database. Okay. So another form or another name is what? Schema means the logical structure of the database. For example, the database consists of the information about a set of customers and accounts and the relationship between them. Okay. Here considered one example customers and the account these details. Okay. And it can show the relationship between the customers and the account details. So it is analogous means I already said to you it is the same as the type information of a variable in a program. Say, suppose you are considering a variable A. But what is the type? Character. When you are giving a type character and variable A. So same here. Schema means the logical structure of the database. So the two types of schemas here. 
one is the physical schema and second one is the logical schema physical schema means for database design at the physical level and logical schema means database design at the logical level you all know that what is the physical level what is the logical level and what is the new level you all know physical means you are considering how the data is stored logical means what what is the actual data stored in the database along with the relationship among that data and last one is the instances the actual content of the database at a particular point in a time see here once again i am telling analogous it is analogous to the what schema means the type of information of a variable in a program and analogous means at the running time what the what is the value of that particular variable so what is the actual data at particular point in that time when programming the program is running we are considering at the running time this is the value of that particular variable so same here that are the contents of database at a particular point in a time when we are going to execute our dbms so understand what is the schema and what is the instance set once again i am going to tell here schema means a design otherwise the logical structure of your database and instances means the actual content of the database means what are your data at a particular point in a time okay then we will next see here the three schema architecture you all see here the three schema architecture it totally depends on your data abstraction levels okay this com we are comparing here with the with schema as well as your data abstraction level see here the goal of the three schema architecture is to separate the user applications and the physical data so it is also having a three levels which are that internal level conceptual level and the view level okay so here you can better understand the concept of three schema architecture same here previously in a data set abstraction what we will see first one is the physical level second one is the logical level and last one is the view level so scheme here with the concept of schema that levels we are going to understand here these are the stored database internal schema we are called as a internal level means that is the physical one conceptual schema means for conceptual level it is nothing but your logical level and last one is the external view means the external level so we are called as a external view that is the view level of your abstraction and these are the end users so here consider here that arrow we are going to show here this is the external and conceptual level mapping okay and here the conceptual and the internal mapping understand so same the abstraction level we are considering here with the schema design okay so that is the physical level mean internal schema logical level means conceptual schema and the external view means external level means the view layer so see here the internal internal level has an internal schema which describes the physical storage structure of the data we already seen in the data abstraction level the internal schema uses a physical data model and describes the complete details of a data storage and access path for the data okay what it is show the internal schema shows a physical data model and describes the complete details of the data storage not data see here the difference internal level which are showing here 
complete details of a data storage and the access paths for that data okay what is the actual path what is the actual route where the database is stored and how the database is stored okay the next one is the conception level so it is your logical level what logical level shows what is the data stored in a database here what is how the data is stored means details of data storage here what what is the actual data and structure or the relationship among that particular stored data see here conceptual schema which describes the structure of the whole database for a community of users the conceptual schema hides the details of the physical storage structure and concentrates on describing entities data types relationships user operations and constraints that is you understand see here it is going to share store the data storage information complete details of the particular and here what we are going to show that hides the physical storage they are not related about the storage they are related of actual data stored in the database and what is the relationship between that data okay student database is there the result database is there so the conceptual level logical level what it is going to show what is the relationship between the student database as well as the result database and what are the conditions see here constraint we already told the example related the grade we want the students having the grade b result so that is the condition our condition so we want that data so here that conceptual level that logic logical level which shows the relationship among among the data as well as the constraints so usually the representational data model is used to describe the conceptual schema when a database system is implemented so the conceptual schema design is a high level data model because what why we are going to call it as a high level so it shows the representational data model as well as the relationship between that data model okay so last one is the external or view level so it includes the number of external schemas or user views so each external schema describe the part of the database that a particular user group is interested in the hides the rest of the database from that user group see here so external level what we are going to show here the single part of that particular data okay so the particular use group is high to interest the rest of the database from the user group so the required data only we are going to show here so the three scheme architecture is a convenient tool see here with which the user can visualize the schema level in a database system okay according to the requirement with the help of that architecture the required tool we can visualize the schema levels in a database system so with the help of these three levels we easily understand the design levels of the particular database so see here with that example you are easily understand first one is what physical scheme which example we are go going to take here university database so physical schema is what what is the actual data storage only where we are going to store so that university database relations are stored as an unordered file and index on the first column of students okay so the relations that stored in the particular database here that much information is only given by the physical schema second one is the conceptual schema so what is that what is that conceptual schema in that see here in that 
we are going to consider whole data is stored what is the actual data is stored in the database here how the data is stored see here relation stored in unordered files how the data is stored conceptual schema means logical level what is the design of that database what the data actually stored in the database and what is the relationship between that database see here in the student database what is there student id name login and age of that particular student second one is the course course considers the course id course name credits of particular course it shows the information related to the course and third one is the enrolled enrolled means student id course id and the grade okay so these are interconnected or these are having some relationship between one another okay see here student id it considered in a student database course id it considered in a course database but when we are going to give the grades so that enroll students having or give need to give to student id also and course id also student id means your roll number course id means your department id and according to that information we are giving the grade so here how the data is stored here what is the actual data is stored and what is the relationship among that particular database and last one is the external schema so that is the view level what it shows part of the actual database a part of a single part of a entire database this is our database what we can want to see here only course information see here this one okay so external view that database system if you want to see the course information the external schema external view which show to, to the end user means are what it will show only the course related information that is the part of particular data okay understand all the concepts what we seen today okay the next session we will see tomorrow thank you